All right, check these out. These guys are burning stuff with a magnifying glass. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cute with the kids burning stuff and all, but they're only melting army men and paper and stuff. I want to go big, man. How can we make it hotter? Let's, like, burn stuff. Let's do a huge death ray. Is that no. what we're going to call it if we build one of these, I the think, death ray? Here's what I think we should do. I didn't see anybody trying to burn metal. Let's try it. You mean it. melt metal? We'll melt metal. You don't want to burn it. We'll melt it. OK, we'll melt metal. When I worked at the National Lab, we used to use lenses like this. You can get thousands of degrees off a large lens, and it's called a Fresnel lens. I didn't know Pharrell was making lenses. Fresnel. Pharrell. Fresnel. Fresnel. Now, a Fresnel lens looks something like this. What it does is it takes this big lens that has a large amount of mass and condenses it down very flat. As the light comes through, it focuses it down. Because it's picking up all these ridges. Exactly. OK, so if we get the right Fresnel lens, I think that we can seriously hit 850 degrees Celsius. That's about 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. We're building this solar death ray, so it pivots left and right, up and down, so we can point it directly at the sun. That way, we can focus the maximum amount of photons into a small spot, hopefully getting to 850 degrees C, the melting point of silicon bronze. I mean, that's pretty badass looking, man. Yeah. That really looks death ray. Let's take it outside and burn some stuff. Oh, let's do that. Watch the Achilles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Achilles. Oh, sorry. Achilles sorry. killer. Yeah. But there. Oh. Now oh. Don't put your hand in it. Nice. Holy cow, dude. If someone was had a torch going, would you go up and go, ooh? ooh, ooh. Dude, that is insanely of course. hot. Dude, look how yep. fast. Yep. Oh, yep, there you go. Oh. So look. Oh, look at that, bro. Yep. So it's we totally have, liquefied. Yep. So we liquefied, and you see it's silver inside now, and that's because that's zinc. Okay. So we know we are reaching 420 Celsius. You're looking into seven or 800 degrees Fahrenheit. More, 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 yeah. more. Hey, Grant, here's some popcorn in aluminum packaging. That's going to burn through this, though, no? Yeah, it is. Maybe we can get it to pop. It, oh, look at that. Check it out. Wow, look at what it's doing. It's destroying wow. the paint. And what, 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 watch. Here we go. Look, come, in, come here. Come on. Don't be afraid. Look at how the, <laughs> the aluminum is melting. It's melting the aluminum container that this is in. That is absolutely amazing. Look at it. It's already popping the Yeah. Car. We melted the aluminum, so we know in that spot we are over 660 degrees Celsius. Silicon bronze is a metal alloy, and it's used on industrial parts like nuts and bolts. It's a pretty strong metal. If this liquefies, then we're breaking 850 degrees Celsius on that spot. That would be awesome if we melt this. Let it build that heat. I don't know. Yeah. I think you're just seeing smoke from the, from the wood. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the things that we're learning that I find really interesting is that we really have dialed in on the temperature. We know that at that focal point where the spot is small, we've reached over 660 degrees Celsius because we melted the aluminum. But we know we didn't surpass 850-ish Celsius because we did not melt the silicon bronze. Well, we didn't really prove our hypothesis, but man, we definitely melted metal.